This is All India Radio Shillong. The Northeast News Bulletin, read by Sandeep and Chakravarti. The centre has said that over 27,33,000 applications have been received under Pratan Mantri Street Vendors Atmanid Bharniti Scheme. Out of the total applications received, over 14,34,000 have been sanctioned and about 7.88 lakh loans disbursed. Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs in a statement said that vendors who had left for their native places due to COVID-19 lockdown are eligible for the loan. The ministry said that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has appreciated the hard work done by the bank staff saying that there was a time when, st when street vendors did not go inside the bank but today the bank is going to their home. Responding to Assam government's appeal, Ministry of Road, Transport and Highways has declared the roads connecting the existing National Highway 750 near Jorhat with Kamalabari Ghat in Majuli as National Highways 715K under National Highways Act 1956. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonwal welcomed the centre's decision to declare the new highways in the state. He said that the move would expedite the development process of the River Island District Majuli while furthering bolstering road communication and infrastructure in the state. In a major feat and the first of its kind in the state, North Police Station Kohima in Nagaland has been awarded an ISO certification. The police station is located in the heart of Kohima town, which was the first established police station under Naga Hills District by the British regime in the year 1933. Presently, the North Police Station is headed by an, uh, by an inspector rank officer in charge and 88 other ranks. It has been awarded ISO certification meeting the specified parameters of quality management system on policing and related scope of activities, which includes maintenance of public peace, law and order, prevention, detection and investigation of crime and criminal activities, emergency response, VIP security and prevention of human trafficking. In Assam, a high-level inter-ministerial central team will visit the state on the 23rd to 25th of this month for on-the-spot assessment of flood and landslide damages this year. The team will be led by additional Secretary Mitigation of National Disaster Management Authority, Sandeep Pondrik. The central team, to be divided into two groups, will visit Walpara, Bongaigao, Nagao and Hojai districts. The Government of India, Meghalaya Government and the World Bank has signed a $120 million project to improve and modernize the transport sector of Meghalaya. This will help the state to harness its vast, its vast growth potential for high-value agriculture and tourism. The project will improve about 300 kilometers of strategic road segments and stand-alone bridges by using innovative climate-resilient and nature-based solutions. It will also support innovative solutions such as precast bridges to reduce both time and cost of construction. Meghalaya reported another COVID-19 related death yesterday from East Khasi Hills District, taking the total number of fatalities to 104. A statement from the Directorate of Health Services said that 109 new COVID-19 cases were also reported from different districts across the state, tallying the total number of active cases to 801. The state also witnessed 16 new recoveries, taking the total number of recovered cases to 10,074. In Manipur, 95 persons were confirmed as new COVID-19 positive cases in the past 24 hours, thus making the total count of positive cases so far in the state to 22,548. All the cases are locals and do not have travel history. They are suspected to be infected through local transmission. Meanwhile, 172 persons were discharged in the past 24 hours in the state and the recovery rate improved to 86.17%. So far, Manipur has recorded total recovered and discharged cases of 19,630, while the number of active cases is 2,886. The total fatality due to the pandemic is 231. In Nagaland, 94 fresh cases of COVID-19 have been reported yesterday, taking the total case load to 10,460. According to the Health Department's COVID-19 Bulletin, there are now 1,292 active cases and 9,007 recoveries in the state. Of the new cases reported yesterday, 71 cases were detected from Dimapur, 12 in Peren, 7 in Kohima, 2 in Mon and 1 each in Kifiri and Fake. The reported cases were segregated amongst 58 traced contacts 
22 frontline workers, 10 armed forces, and 4 NIT returnees. So far, 48 have died due to COVID-19. Six deaths were non-COVID, while four deaths are under investigation, while 103 cases have migrated. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio Shalom. Have a nice day. Thank you.